Hi everyone, my name is Adam. Today I'm going to be introducing some of our favorite tools and functions with an ACDC Photo Editor 11. There's a ton of new tools in Photo Editor 11, and we simply can't cover them all, so please follow the link below to learn about all of the new additions we can't cover in this video. Okay, first up, Canvas Resize. Artboards in Photo Editor 11 are now resizable while you work. Let's expand this starting image here. I'm going to click Expand Canvas from the Tools panel. Uh, I can simply use the bounding box on the edges here to increase the range, or adjust the number values in the boxes above on the Tool panel. This section also gives the option of setting background color and opacity while holding aspect ratio if desired. Rulers and Guides Rulers can be added to your artboard by navigating to View, Rulers. By default, rulers are set to pixels. You can change this by right clicking on the ruler and setting it to another increment. Guides can be added by clicking on the ruler itself and dragging one out onto your artboard. Content snaps to your guidelines. Content can also be snapped via the Move tool. I've added an image here and I'll snap it to the bottom right as an example. Other snaps are obviously available, center, left, right, etc. The new text tool. Text is now non-destructive, meaning that it adds an editable layer that you can adjust in the future. Text also sticks to guides. Text saved in ACDC file formats can be adjusted at any point in the future. Additionally, text effects such as the drop shadow or bevel have been moved onto the adjustment layer panel and can be applied to any layer. Let's add a quick drop shadow to this text by clicking the FX button. Uh, I'm going to select shadow and increase the blur while reducing the opacity. Pixel targeting. By navigating to select and pixel targeting from the main menu, a box will appear that allows you to select individual colors or tones. Let's reduce all the colors to their minimum values and select the reds and orange hues. With that complete, we can apply a vibrance adjustment. So with our selection active in the center here, I'm gonna select a vibrance from the adjustment layers and adjust the hue. You'll see just those selected areas changed. Color LUTs. Color LUTs allow you to color grade your image in a click of a button. You can simply navigate to it in the adjustment layers. It's this icon right here. You can import as many LUTs as you'd like by clicking the import button here. Uh, a browser window will pop up and it's gonna prompt you to navigate to your LUT. LUTs are freely available online. We're gonna add an elegance color LUT to tweak our levels here. To create and save your own LUT, simply navigate to Tools, Create LUT. The dialog box will prompt you to save the LUT as a 3DL or cube file. Saving a LUT will combine all the adjustment layers you've added to your layer panel together into one file. Actions Browser. Photo Editor 11 includes the brand new Actions Browser. The Actions Browser can be found on the Tool panel at the bottom. Recorded actions are stored here. Use the drop down at the top to select a category. ACDC Photo Editor 11 comes with a plethora of pre made actions. You can add new categories or remove categories by using the buttons at the top of the Actions Browser. 
The Actions browser can be filtered by preview or by steps involved in the recording process of the action. From the Actions browser, you can use the buttons at the bottom left to import other users' actions and to export your own actions. I'm going to create an effect using the Actions browser. Let's play this bokeh effect on our image. I'm also going to apply a vibrance effect and lower the opacity of this layer. Smart Erase. Smart Erase is a new function that provides a quick tool that removes the brushed on area and replaces it by blending and using components of your image. Let's quickly select Smart Erase from the toolbar and brush away the edges of this fish fin here. You'll see as the fin is removed, the edges are smoothed and informed by the image content itself. Liquify. Liquify, found under Filter, Geometry, Liquify in the top menu bar, is a valuable way to gently nudge, expand, or retract areas of your subject. Let's make some changes to the fish on the left here. While in Liquify, I'm going to use the Shift function to pull the edges of the fish's tail. Nib width will affect how much is drawn in the direction of your pull. We can use the Pinch tool to make things more tucked in, and we can use the Bulge tool to draw elements outwards in a radial pattern. We can also right click or use the restore function to undo any of our actions. Blended Clone. Last thing I'll cover is Blended Clone. Blended Clone is a member of our repair tool. Find repair in the filters tab on the top or as a part of the toolbar. The tool itself is very simple. You right click to save a point to blend, and then left click where you'd like to blend this addition. I'll extend the tails on these subjects by using the blended clone tool. There you go. That's about all that I can cover in this video. Again, please check out the link below to see a full rundown of all the features in Photo Editor 11, of which there are many. And as always, please like, comment, or subscribe for more ACDC tutorials and video content.